I really liked quite a few of the videos I did in December of 2019, but that also wrapped up the entire decade, you know, the 2010s in general, so I was only there for half of the decade, but it was still fun to do. And a lot of different themes, I remember, like, there was, like, some awards where Taylor Swift became, like, the artist of the decade, Drake was fairly close on top of that. So it was just kind of, I mean, this was the, one of the last months before coronavirus started becoming, like, a primary component of the news. But, you know, in January I tried some new tricks and uh, kind of did the armpit farts video, which, you know, I hadn't done those since I was probably, like, since 1997, seven years old, something like that. Been a while, definitely. <laughs> thinking about some of those things, you know, that, that armpit farts are so 90s, that's the thing about it, and it's relatively funny to do it. Uh, that was where I started messing with guitar, and I was going to actually put out a mixtape, and I was going to call it Moonlight Collateral. I was going to put out, like, 13 or 14 songs, throw that up on, like, the rap website, Dat Piff, and just have a bunch of acoustic songs, but it just kind of fell through, and, you know, I realize how difficult it was going to be. I mean, it, it might have been interesting, but I just started to lose sight of wanting to do it. But, uh, you know, I, I do like the idea of trying to play guitar. I just don't know if I would have the temperament to continue that. Uh, I started doing montage sequels. In year four, I started doing montages to a lot of things, like the toilet montage, middle finger montage, uh, Aaron's montage, things like that, the Knuckles Crack montage, so, but I started doing sequels to them this year, and I was like, hey folks, that was the whole point, it's like, hey, there's going to be a toilet montage too, and another nose pick montage, and things like that, so I definitely was trying to make sequels to some of those, just because it's like, that was one of the big points of year five that I was trying to do in 2019, but without... Cobalt, Jackal, Gold Kick, and them to help out. It just kind of got more convoluted. But I still made it through January, and uh, you know, we just kind of had good temperament there. Good stuff. That was a fun month. Uh, February was kind of an awkward month just because I was kind of running out of steam just because Cobalt went back to college from winter break in like mid January, and I was having to kind of fend for myself again. So I was trying to come up with new things and not recycle ideas, but I did manage to figure out Snapchat and TikTok, so Snapchat was a big help that gave me some ideas and helped with some of the montages, and I was starting to do like act videos, like act one and act two, and I did more compilations, and this stuff that wasn't a montage but still had multi multiple scenes in it. So winter... This had a lot more energy than like summer and autumn did, this especially just due to the fact that Cobalt basically had a whole month from being home from college for winter break. But uh, so you know, there there were some fun ones, you know, like the that the struggle is real and best night of my life and things like that. You know, there were some good components. But March. March was a stupid month. I, I'm sure most people can agree if you live in the United States. That was where coronavirus started to pop up, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, we went into lockdown, everything shut down, basketball shut down, sports shut down, television shut down, places shut down, movie theaters, gyms, uh, all, everything. Just about everything was closed in March and April 2020, it was just like, what the fuck, you know, all this quarantine, the masks, you know, social distancing, stop the spread, these hashtags, uh, stay home, you know, all that sort of nonsense that popped up in March 2020, and my initial reaction to coronavirus was I thought this was the stupidest thing that had ever happened, I really was just questioning, like, what the fuck was going on, I didn't understand it, uh, but, you know, obviously we've kind of somewhat gotten past it, but a lot of it is just continued ignorance. We just have to keep looking at it like, you know, something's got to be underway here. You know, this is like the main thing. But, uh, so I continued to mess with Snapchat and was just starting to kind of 
get some more things, and I was finishing up the winter videos, and the stuff that I did with Cobalt back then, but a, a lot of that month was just kind of adjusting to quarantine life. Like, I didn't go to Taco Bell at all in March of 2020, didn't go really anywhere, and the only place I think we went to was just the grocery store, and I was just living off of bananas and green beans, <laughs> the shit like that, Gr bananas, green beans, and oatmeal, so that was fun. Couldn't go out and get a pizza, couldn't go out and get a cheeseburger, just suck penis. But April was better. I mean, it, once we got past hearing every day about how New York was having like hundreds of people, if not thousands of people, die every single day, you know, uh, by mid April things had finally gotten over that sort of thing. And I was just kind of like, okay, you know, that's good. And, uh, but April is a very gross month. I came up with, like, baked beans videos, peen videos, armpit fart videos, just all sorts of crunchy stuff. Does anything toilet humor? Chances are puking videos. Chances are it was in April of 2020. And plus, Cobalt had come home from Halloween Town, so he was back. We did a bunch of videos that month, and April just kind of sailed through. So... But then May, I was trying some new tricks. May of 2020, I tried some new tricks and shit, and uh, I did the welcome to the channel, which I had not done. You know, just welcome, this is what you need to see, this is what you'll first see when you visit Acidic Roots. So I tried that, I did the green montage. I hadn't talked about too many montages, but that was one that I actually had come up with in 2017. I just finally decided to do it now. Uh, then I beat the game Aladdin for the Super Nintendo, which I was proud of just because that game had pissed me off for four years. I had actually given up on the game, and I just finally decided to try it, and I was like, hell, I can actually beat this damn game. So, you know, I dealt with my birthday that month, turned 31, the George Floyd scenario happened in late May, and now we've just, just been dealing with protests leads me to June. So I started getting cameos from Boogie2988. So there's going to be a series of those that are going to start popping up for, for a good while, particularly Francis. And, you know, I think Francis and I kind of mesh rather well. So that's definitely the thing is he's talking about that. Francis and I, Francis, Cobalt and I mesh well. We have a bunch of jokes for you. Jackal Gold Kick is still around. I've got some ass clown vibes that are happening throughout June. You know, it's not quite June 30th as I do this, so that's why I say it that way. And, you know, there's another dance montage, and, you know, this kind of like a miniature version of April where the toilet humor is there, but kind of concentrating on more low key and uh, just uh, niche humor. You know, this real low brow kind of stuff. You know, just that sort of attitude so that's what to expect from June of 2020 and what you have expected but yeah so that was year five of acidic roots and cobalt hopes you enjoyed it I hope you enjoy it I think in some cases jackal gold kick hopes you enjoyed it uh, you know Frenchie Gary Nitro Keith uh, holiday almost said Keith urban but all these different fellows we kind of hope you had a blast you know, Godspeed. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful night and stay tuned for year six.